Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer Worlds. So, as you can tell, we're back in Edgewater, and we are going to try to finish up the last two remaining side missions that we currently have. Oh. Oh boy. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Um, okay. Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Um, okay. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. <clears throat> Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this. But there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Oh, medical. I got some training. I could take a look at you. <laughs> or strength, but I don't have enough strength. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. She needs help. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Hmm, a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> That's a little late for that. Oh, man. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Start. See you later. That's considered stealing. And there's too many bodies in here for me to not do that. Re oh, it's a resident. I'll take that stuff. Well, they're dead. It's not stealing, right? Thirty-six bits. Not in front of her. Him. Whoever. What? Right. Oh. Okay, so she's killing the sprats. Okay. Interesting. A little bit different. Oh, the general store. Oh. I'm not are these free samples? Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this <clears throat> establishment. Not since that little incident. Um, what? Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Well. <clears throat> Music to my ears. Wow, a 36% discount? Hot dog. Well, I don't think I very much to sell. I'm going to keep this just in case for now. Um, yeah, I don't really very much to sell. Let's see. Sell all junk. Add a little bit of junk. Mm, fun times barrel. Increases critical damage. This reduces the noise of each shot. Um, I mean, I, I like all these, but I'm not really sure if I can use it on really anything. I was hoping I could, but I don't think I can. Can I repair things? If it's going to cost me bits instead of weapon parts, that might be okay for me to do. Alright, alright. Um, I haven't used this, so I feel pretty good about that. Actually. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Sounds like y'all need vegetables. Go right ahead. What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This is a test. Am I being tested right now? It's, a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't <clears throat> want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. All right. You are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. I am lucky to have my work. Lucky to be alive. 
I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Actually, there was. Go right ahead. Anything I should watch out for? Or plague. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Hmm. He has to hide. You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness. But the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Um, what do you mean? Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law <clears throat> of nature. It's company policy. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Um, okay. It is better than fair. It's company policy. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Oh, that wouldn't be very good for him. All right, very cool. Just wanted to see what's going on with him. Can I pick this? Wish I could do that. No one knows what I'm doing if they can't see me, right? Yeah, stay out there, Parvati. Uh, trying to get pick up some of these things is a little difficult. There we go. I totally didn't break into your closet there and steal everything you had. Totally not. All right. So, right now, we're going to try to do the mission to kill the robot that this guy said he wanted dead earlier. So we have to leave. Ah, uh, help the chairman and minister clock. Defeat our foes. Cool, so remember, a couple episodes, we were back out here, and we talked to the guy who really hates robots. So, that's why I'm here. We're going to go in the back and help him alleviate his situation mag pick nico pad i love picking up everything known to man oh sure revolver okay very nice uh ooh did i miss something over here oh a necklace very good nice. ambidextrin Oh, right. Ooh, lava. Desert dissenters in our midst. The enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Well, it sounds like they're at war. Uh, a few more thingies. Armor parts. A little bit more ammo. I appreciate that. Actually. Gonna load our gun again. Looks like we might have some enemies down south. Or I guess technically north. Not sure if I should engage him or not. Well, kind of already going this way, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. That I could fix him up smart. Oh. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Oh no, I need 65. No, I'm not high enough yet. Take your time. <clears throat> you need help, just give a yell. A, a metaphorical yell. If you yell for reals, you're liable to spook them. Alright, go ahead and fix him up. Yeah, why not? Well, we know he's damaged. Well, let's ask him. Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Oh, well, we might as well fix them up. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Huh. Well, new by Spacer's Choice Standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Um, 
Yeah, don't you owe me something? Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy Aww. understands the concept of trade. Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. Cool. Um, all right, I'll be going now. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Well then, I was going to come here and blow him up, but uh, I guess not. And then we can go collect our dues, and then there's one more, I think, somewhat small mission we can do. What's in here? A pistol? No one needs that, no one needs that. No one needs this stuff. Food? That's a luxury we you can't afford. Ooh, I love frozen dinners. Bestseller, all in one, featuring signature sauce. I love the secret sauce. Anything else? Oh, I want to get back there though. Hold on. Give me your goodies. All right, can we go just fast travel down to? Yes, we can. Oh, Rizzo's Spectrum. Red. Vodka. Oh. Oh, there's a workbench. Nice. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Oh, Ludwig. Don't don't have to worry about that scout now anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. <laughs> you hid your secret weapon in a lavatory. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Guess that makes sense. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Uh, all right. Catch you later. Oh, thank you. That's considered stealing if I take this stuff. But he's not in here. And to feel like a real borrower. We're just gonna crouch and pick everything up. And then immediately break it down. Um the revolver. Well, it's not bad, but Ooh, a security blade. Two handed nine level nine melee weapon. I'm not really gonna focus on melee stuff, so. Um yeah, just do that for this. Ooh. Whatever. Get rid of it. This is just not really useful for me right now. Modify. I doubt I can modify anything. Um, at least the condition is pretty good now. Yeah, we still have Magnum. And then we still have... Yeah, I can't do that. Can't do anything there. Tactical shotgun. I might try that out. But I really like the weapons we already have. Let's go ahead and... Can't break down anything more. Can I repair? I could, but I could tinker. That was quick. Anyone else in here? Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. See, he doesn't know what's going on, especially especially if I break stuff of his down immediately. Ooh, a shovel. Thank you. Uh, did I pick up an ar armor piece? No. Let me just check one more time. Yes, we have Mag to Zap. Magazine changes weapons damage type to shock. Interesting. Right now it's energy. Oh, and extend O sight, a two times scope. Let's put it on. Thank you. All right, not bad. Even though I do a lot of uh, damp or I use my gun when I'm not really looking down sights. Alright, let's go ahead and go back to the lavatory.
in the cantina and see what type of secret weapons he has hidden there. Right, Pink? I'm also joined here by my cat, Pinky. Whenever I'm recording these sessions, he's always sitting on my chair, which leaves me without a chair. He loves a chair. It's like he is my co-pilot when recording this stuff. Well, let's not be too unfriendly. Let's put away a gun. Don't mind me. I just have to go poop. Please, don't look. Wow, that, that's, a, that's, that's a firearm? What else is back here? I love not using bypass shunts for this stuff. Thank you. And, and, there's so many shovels. Anything else in there? Oh. See, you know, poor body, please come in here. Oops, my bad. All right, my bad. I thought I had stopped the video for some reason. Um, so regardless. Uh, cool. I miss. Uh, the reason for that is because I miss hit a button on my keyboard. Cause what was it? A Z. Gotcha. There you go. I meant to do that, but my finger hit the Alt or the Windows key. No one's in here, right? Maybe I should check for that first. Sorry, I can't. Heading out. Go have a shower, Parvati. You smell. Anything up around here? Oh. Corona. Oh, hello. Cool. Um, we gotta go back to Ludwig. He's just outside, right? Yeah, just outside in the normal place. No, oh, Terror on Monarch. With Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon, Helen, Spencer, Wool... I can't read that too fast. It's it's too fast for me to read. Ah. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Alright. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Cool, I already took one from you. Fun. This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. Um, You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I think I've already done this. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my... Gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Okay. How do we get one? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its course. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Okay. Parvati? I don't reckon so. Hmm. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. All right, simple. Seems simple enough. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. All right then. Well, it looks like we've got to make our way back downtown, and by downtown, I mean back to the geothermal plant. Now, I really want to finish this uh, planet up as best as possible, given the missions, just because 
this is the only planet I'll actually do it for. Like, when we go to the next planet. I'm not going to do all the missions. I'll probably just do mostly just the main missions. Maybe an occasional side mission, but... With at least the first planet, I want to finish it up as much as possible. So, um, what is this down here? Logic module. Don't have enough for that, so we got to go a little bit deeper. And which means we got to go up. Been here quite a few times already. Nothing in there. Oh, a light machine gun. How did I miss that earlier? Awesome. And let's make our way back. Well, yeah. How did I miss that too? Nice. Adreno, weapon parts, Adreno time, logic module. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Return of Ludwig, but we could do that, or we could go ahead and look at the illustrated manual. Because I want to start doing both. These are the last ones I'll do. Um, um, let's, when we get out of here, we'll fast travel to the that area that I marked on the map for us. Cool. Anthracillin. New improved packaging. Good for all that ails you. Well... Well, I lied. Let's go back to Ludwig first. Let's focus on one thing at a time. What is that? Oh, junkyard. A lot of fast traveling. At least it's pretty quick, though. Siren Fraser, Cameron Fraser. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. And we're back. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Wow, this looks really weird when I'm looking up to him. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it, then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple bits for your trouble, and a little something to remember me by. Alright, take care. Thank you very much. And we have more than enough space we can fill our suit with to the community center to finish off, hopefully, Emerald Veil. Vale. It's not the worst unless it's Borst first. Wow. Alright. Interesting. Well, we're probably going to get engaged in some sort of fire fight. Nice, Magpick. How did I miss that before? Actually, I missed a lot of things in this game so far. But it's because I didn't really understand it at all. Ah, uh, really kind of nice looking. Pretty good looking game. Oh wait, oh crap. I didn't realize there was marauders here. My bad. Oh, you got him. Oh, good job, Parvati. I didn't realize what I was doing. Thought I killed them all. But, thank God Parvati's here. And she started screaming at me. Nice. Very good, very good. Alright. Oh. A little bit of a... Oh, no. No. I don't know that would kill me. Well, we'll continue. Oh, right. My apologies. Usually that doesn't happen. Um, well, I gotta die one time in this game, right? So, let's go ahead and try that again. And now we know that there's Marauders there, and that you can't fall from a second story. That's kind of disappointing. I wish we kind of could. Take that, pick that back up. Run, 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 run. Yeah, usually in games, you can at least fall from a second story with taking some minimal... Well, it's taking at least some damage. Alright, and we know there's got some bad guys around here. Up. 
Thank you. Alrighty then. Go ahead and take everything we can and let's not fall off the wall this time. Yeah, I guess I'll go this way. A little bit safer, a little bit safer. Looks like quite the ditch. Wait. Oh. Where am I going? I need to go this way. Oh, he dodged that. Wait, how's he not dead? What the heck? There we go. Beautiful. Corporation Service Award. Well, I guess I just killed a corporate veteran. Well, as long as they're dead, they don't know. Bravati. Mmm. Can I heal her from using this stuff? No. Inventory. Can I heal her? I'd like to heal her. Oh, I don't need to use it, so... Huh. Alright, well. She'll heal naturally, I guess. Anybody else want to die? No? Pick up all the stuffs. Terminal messages to Clement from Jefferson to Jefferson from Clement. All right, open this up. Take everything. Do that. Do that. Collector's letter. Got the letter today. Corporate order me to relocate to Edgewater Cannery effective immediately. Um. Okay. Nice. Thirty-six hundred XP. Retrieve the journal. Very cool. Awesome. So, where is that in the... Oh, it's over here now. Well, let's go back to the geothermal plant. We're going to the ge geothermal plant quite a bit after we've cleared it out. Oh, I need some cigarettes, guys. Wentworth cigarettes. No water. Cave entrance. Oh. Sniped him. God, I really like this energy weapon. It's good stuff. Anything that they had, maybe? Anything delicious? No? Alright. Well, let's get to the cave entrance. The illustrated manual. Oh crap, that's a mine. I'm like, ooh, pretty colors. Love alcohol. Is that a explosive on it? The Vicar's Book. Well, that was easy. Nice. Awesome. Wait, we have an enemy around here. We can't fast travel while there's enemies, so let's keep going this way. See what's in the cave. Maybe happy fun times? Oh crap. Alright. Everybody around here?
Cool. Nothing in there. Well, I can't fast travel. When there's enemies around, so. See? That wasn't too bad. I just broke my legs. Interesting. And then we will talk to the vicar, and then that'll wrap up Emerald Vale for us. Alright. Vicar Max. The good old Vic. Vic Max. The VM. Alright, alright. It's a fine new day in Edgewater. The cannery hums, street lights and faces glow. I suppose this means the two of you were able to sort out the matter? Yeah, we killed everyone. The greater good can be difficult to determine. None of us can know the effects of our decision in a year, or ten, or a hundred. Take comfort in the fact that your choices are always, ultimately, in line with the grand plan. Always. Alright. Adelaide's been digging up corpses. Well, we don't need to tell him that. I got your book, though. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. <coughs> wow. He got angry It's a forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. All right. You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it. You just wanted it for yourself. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. So I guess he knows <clears throat> what French is. Do people speak French in this universe? Like, do you understand that I... We speak English or something? Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. <clears throat> Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Wow. Um, you need a ride out of town. I don't. Wouldn't mind a ship hand. Uh, what's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. All right, no, that sounds... Is that all part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Sounds good to me. Fantastic. I promise you won't regret this. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Miss Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. It is my esteemed pleasure to serve as your crew vicar, Captain. Captain Hawthorne. Nice. You can now join the party. And we gotta go to the unreliable soon, but let's first put in some skills. So 10, like I said earlier, I want to do a lot of persuasion, even though Intimidate might be pretty good. Let's get it up to 60 at least. 62. Um, sneak. Sneak attack to deal bonus damage. Put two in here, and put two more into here. Alright, looks pretty good to me. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much all the time for that we have today. He's got a shotgun and a melee weapon. I could give him a shovel, but, uh, yeah, let's do this. Take that off. That's uh, only level one. Eh, screw it. Let's do it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we will finally leave the Emerald Vale for the first time. And maybe we might never come back here. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great, great day.